You brought right, but you up. have an opinion about it. I'm going to have to mute you, Royce. I'm going to have to oh, mute you. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're bringing up topics and then telling me I brought them up. This isn't no, a way to be interviewed as a serious I didn't say person. that. I didn't say you brought it up. I said you had... David Pakman recently hosted an engaging debate on his show with Royce White, a Republican and former U.S. Senate in Minnesota. As expected, the debate was energetic with plenty of back and forth, though some of White's responses lacked clear answers. It was a lively discussion that covered various topics, and both sides had the chance to present their views. Let's take a look at some key clips from the show to see how the conversation unfolded. Let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, no, it's just, no, 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 wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. It has nothing whatever, wait a second. whatever it's to not do a with different the question. It's not American a different citizen. question at all. It, it certainly does because there are fundamental rights of being an American citizen, one of which has always been the presumption of innocence, oh, number boy. one. So there is... There is complete merit to bring it into question when we talk about American citizenship. Royce, but, you uh, understand again, that when police again, investigate crimes, they investigate crimes, but that doesn't take away the presumption of innocence in a court of law. Like this is basic legal stuff, Royce. No, this no, no. Is, it takes I away the presumption your, of innocence in the court policy, of public opinion. But this is crazy. It takes away the presumption of innocence in the court of public opinion, which now in today's world can be just as dangerous as the, the opinion in the court of law. And, yeah, and even for false again, rape claims again, are zero point zero two percent of according all to sexual you, assault claims. According to you, according to you, according to crime reporting from police departments all over the country. According to according to you to and the police departments. To, according to you, then why don't they bring more claims? Who? Why don't more make it to the courtroom? What claims? Because they lack evidence. Um, uh, the the reason the the reason why police departments say first of all. Again, you're trying to sidetrack me and you keep interrupting no, no, no. me. You brought Royce, me on your you show. Created this, side. this is something we often see in debates with right-wing figures, and I'm glad David Pakman highlights it here. Some individuals are quick to dismiss statistics. For example, in the debate, when David Pakman presents data, Royce White responds with, according to you, instead of engaging with the numbers. It feels like their arguments are often based more on personal beliefs or feelings, rather than facts. It's ironic, considering the facts over feelings mantra that's commonly associated with them. Yet here, feelings seem to take priority over data. Another recurring point is their hesitation to believe women in certain cases. Instead of focusing on the higher rates of unreported incidents of harm against women, the conversation tends to shift toward the small number of wrongful accusations, which are statistically rare in comparison. This seems to be a common talking point that distracts from the larger issue at hand. You brought me on your show. And we're you not asked me about, about a question about women. About. I'm answering but a question Royce, about feminists in the hold feminist on, movement. Hold on, Royce, Royce. You the point is, is when you, when women. you, when you, when you assume that all women are telling the truth or that we should believe all women on face value, by default, I don't know anyone who is by that. the whole movement of the the whole Me Too movement was based on this idea that believe all women. That's your assertion. I don't believe that to be true. Oh, okay. Well, you let your viewers decide then. Let's go to the next question. Trust but verify <laughs> is the view that I've always had. Believe Police all have women duty. was the believe Police all women was the commercial widespread commercial. Believe all women was the widespread commercial cultural sentiment from the Me Too movement. One hundred and fifty thousand percent. You know, Royce, you sidetracked us on believe all women, right? No, I, you brought no, it didn't. up out of nowhere. The believe all women idea is yeah. a, is a is a part of the yeah. claim that women have become mouthy. OK, uh, let me ask about a couple of. And I will say in, 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 I will say, yeah, in in relation in, of in that vein. Yeah. When women. When women are allowed to say things about men with no boundaries or no constraints whatsoever, and it's culturally accepted across American culture and across political culture, that is, uh, uh, in my opinion, more than uh, a valid reason to be able to say, hey, Women are getting out of control. And I do think radical feminists are getting out of control. I should have been more specific. But I get I, the I point I was being that humorous. you think women are out of control. I got it. No, Let no, me ask no. I said radical things. feminists are out of control. Be clear. If you're liking this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference and helps me create more videos. Now, let's jump back into the video. You right, but you up. have an opinion about it. I'm going to have to mute you, Royce. I'm going to have to oh, mute you. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're bringing up topics and then telling me I brought them up. This isn't no, a way to be interviewed as a serious I didn't say person. that. I didn't say you brought it up. I said you had an you opinion about it. You told me I brought up Believe All Women and that I brought up drag shows. No, I you didn't. You brought those issues No, up. I did you not say said. that. They'll be able to watch it back and they see will. for themselves how they it will. went. Let's I didn't bring. I didn't say you brought it up. I brought it up. I'm going to bring up every topic I want to bring up. Oh, so you, you white are liberals are not going to tell you. 
Yeah, I brought up the feminist okay. movement and I brought up the drag stripper shows as an Can example. Can we continue the interview? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. You brought up strip clubs. It right. was recently revealed you spent campaign donations at a strip <laughs> club. Is that true? That's not true. Okay. It's been sourced very well by the Daily Beast. Where'd they it's get not, this information? The Daily Beast, first of all, the Daily Beast is not a good source. That's number one. But number two, uh, it wasn't well sourced even in that that article at all. It was a reference to a campaign filing yes. with the FEC that was not done properly. You re who didn't do the filing properly? Um, whoever was in charge of the filing. And who was that? Well, there were a number of people, I would assume, who were in charge of, of getting that accounting done, but it wasn't You don't know properly. who the people are doing your accounting? Oh, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, I know who they are. Do you want me to list the entire yeah. list? Royce White seemed a bit lost when David Pakman challenged him by stating, I believe in facts. David Pakman's patience during these debates with right-wing figures is truly impressive. I've watched a lot of his discussions, and I've never seen him get rattled or lose his composure. He calmly presents the facts, no matter how heated the conversation gets. It's fascinating to watch how some individuals, particularly those aligned with MAGA, often struggle to stay on topic. Instead, they tend to divert the conversation by bringing up unrelated issues, which makes for an interesting dynamic in these debates. The people who worked on it? Yeah. So you have time for me to go through a list of people who worked on the filing, but you don't have time to talk about the details of the political issues you want to well, discuss? Well, how many people is it? Give me a break. Who do you think you, who do you people think you're fooling? I don't think we're fooling who anybody. Who do you people think you're fooling? So the people who prepared I answered your question. the reports. I answered the question. I'm the trying question to understand is no. it, Royce. The people the question who prepared is no. the reports. The answer is no. The, people the answer who to your question is no. I haven't even asked the question yet. You did. You asked, did I spend campaign finance uh, money on strippers? That and you responded, no. and now I want to ask a follow-up. Okay. Your claim is there were filings which said you spent campaign funds at a strip club, but they were incorrect no, the, the, filings. They, the, no, they didn't say that I spent the funds at a strip club. Or no, let's say it, they didn't say that I spent the funds on strippers. But it was spent at a strip club club as they sell food at the strip club don't so they? so you were having you've spent the money on food at a strip club is that more accurate you seem to be very unfamiliar with strippers and strip clubs and drag strip shows so i'll i'll inform you maybe Please. you aren't informed that they do have food at strip clubs so what you're saying is the money was no way did you know that though club. did you know that i know strip clubs have Have you ever been to a strip club one time did, did you like the food no you got to go to better strip clubs then. okay <laughs> but so what you're saying is you did spend the money at strip clubs, but on food. Is that right? Well, I'm not saying that I spent the money. I'm saying that there was a filing on my FEC report that shouldn't have been there. The filing seemed to just appear out of nowhere. And he claimed not to know how it got there. Been reimbursed by somebody who may have been at the strip club, but that there is food at the strip club. So to say it was spent on strippers is not based on factual evidence. I didn't say that. Especially not from the day that you did. I said it's strip club, not strippers. No, well, okay. Well, Which that's is the what's same thing implied saying, by right? the Daily Beast. It's the same thing you're saying, right? So we agree. But that's what's been implied by the Daily Money Beast and other people as well. at a strip club by someone else in your campaign on that's what's been ex it, That's what's been implied by the Daily Beast and other mainstream media outlets as well. And what's the truth? I just told you. Someone else bought food at a strip no, no, club no, no, with no, campaign no, funds. No, no, I told you about the FEC filing. You seem to have a lot of time for this one. <laughs> well, it's because you're so obviously lying. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm so obviously lying. Yeah, just tell me the truth. So, did a staffer spend Give money on food people, at a strip you, club? You white liberal, you white liberals have a lot of nerve. That's you identity white politics. You white liberals, so, Royce, hold you on white a liberals, hold on you a white second, liberals Royce. hate when black men vote Republican. You hate when black men say that they like being American citizens. You hate when black men say that we want to have a border. You hate when black men say stop sending our money to the Ukraine. And you go to the WWE politics to hold try second, and defend Royce. your latent racism. That's hold what it is. Hold on a second, Royce. Hold on a second, Royce. Aren't you against identity politics? Absolutely. So what are you talking about white liberals for, especially when Wait, what do you I'm mean? a Hispanic Wait. Jewish immigrant from Argentina? Yeah, right. But you have a white liberal ideology. That's what's oh, funny about Oh, that's something different. <laughs> All right, Royce, listen, when when you start hurling no, stuff you do. around like that, you do. we do have to end you, the interview. You have a right? post-World War II democratic liberal order, white liberal ideology. All right. The man who denounces identity politics is playing identity politics. No, I'm not. Royce, I really appreciate you being no, I'm on not. today. Your latent right? racism is obvious. Make sure you post the interview. Don't be a coward. Here's a neutral and respectful rewrite of the segment. Make sure to check out the interview video where David Pakman really handled things well. Royce White made some interesting claims, and David Pakman responded with direct, logical questions 
keeping the conversation fair and grounded. At one point, White accused Pacman of being a racist white liberal, which was a surprising turn in the discussion. It was clear that White was struggling to respond to the accusations, including the use of campaign funds, and kept trying to deflect. This debate reflects a common pattern in these types of exchanges, where things often shift to name-calling when direct answers aren't given. It's an example of how challenging it can be to have a straightforward debate in these situations. What do you think? Did David Pacman come out ahead in this discussion? Or do you think Royce White had stronger points? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on David Pacman, debates like this, and anything else you'd like to share. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me bring you more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.